families of Russian servicemen are removed from Crimea. The enemy is actively preparing for defense in the temporarily occupied Crimea. The construction of fortifications in the north of the peninsula is almost complete and an anti-landing defense system is being created on the northwestern and western coasts of Crimea to prevent the possible amphibious landings of the defense forces of Ukraine. Brigadier General Alexei Hromov, Deputy Chief of the Main Operational Department of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, told Ukraineform in an interview. At the same time, he noted that there are currently no accurate data on the massive departure of the families of Russian service members from the peninsula. But there are such cases. However, the Brigadier General emphasized that a significant increase in the number of people trying to leave Crimea should be expected in case of the threat of the destruction of the Crimean Bridge, the approach of groups of armed forces of Ukraine to the Perikop and Chonha isthmuses in connection with the beginning of preparations for the liberation of the peninsula from the Russian invaders. As reported on June the 22nd, explosions rang out in Zankoy in the temporarily occupied Crimea. The occupation administrations concealed this information. Andriy Yusov, a representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, said that explosions in the temporarily occupied Crimea indicate that the liberation of the peninsula is coming. He also noted that there will be peace and no explosions in Crimea when the Russian invaders leave it.